How's it going guys? I'm James from Kit Guru. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing something a little different today. It's not just the usual review of a case or a cooler or something like that. Uh, we know how much you enjoy watching the time-lapse builds when I build a system into a case that I'm reviewing. So that's partly what we'll be doing today. And we'll also be doing some experiments on airflow and positioning of fans and the configuration of fans and how that has an effect on the temperatures inside the system, on the CPU, GPU and such like. If you are one of those that likes watching these system builds, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It'll help the channel to keep on growing and you'll get notifications telling you when we release new content. And you can also head over to our store where you can pick up all kinds of cool clothing and Kit Guru merch to impress your friends. So the plan is today, Build a system inside the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX. This is Be Quiet's latest case. It's a kind of compact mid tower chassis, but it's got this new uh, high flow mesh front panel, which will be great for the experiments that we're running today. Back last year, I reviewed the original version of this case, the non DX with the solid front panel. I found it was a really good, um, cost effective, but it is a good quality case. Uh, allows you to install all kinds of hardware inside. Leo also reviewed uh, earlier this year or towards the end of last year, I can't quite remember, he actually reviewed the DX. Again, he was very impressed with it. So if you've been looking at picking up one of these PureBase 500 DX or the non-DX, you can head over to the kitguru.net website where you'll find both the original review by myself and the review of the DX by Leo, might give you a few pointers and help you make your mind up whether you want to buy this case or whether you want to go with something else. So thanks to Be Quiet, they sent us over all these parts to help us with this experiment today. And I've been building PCs now for about two decades and I've always, always kind of thought that a, a, a balanced airflow or maybe slightly leaning towards positive pressure inside the case is best. Saying that, I've never actually done any in-depth experiments or testing to see if that is you know, the correct or the best uh, airflow configuration for the system temperatures and for your CPU and for your GPU. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We've got a bunch of these Silent Wings 3 fans. We've got the 120 mil versions and the 140 mil versions. These are actually the high speed models. So the uh, Silent Wings 3, 120 these run up to 2200 rpm and the silent wings 3 140 high speed they got to 1600 rpm so that'll allow us to to play around with the rpm and you know kind of balance the sound and the speed exactly how we want it for this experiment and be quite it's also sent over a dot rock 4 200 watt tdp air cooler to help with this experiment uh, this is the non-pro version, so it's a single fan, single tower version. That'll just give us a little bit more space inside the case to play around with the various different fan configurations and switching the orientation of the fans as and when we need. Uh, we've also got a Be Quiet Straight Power 11 uh, 750 watt platinum power supply. And then we'll be using these parts and some other bits to build up a new uh, AMD B550 base platform with a Ryzen 5 3600X CPU. So the whole point of this experiment really is for the benefit of both of us. I'm really keen to learn which is the best kind of airflow configuration inside a mid-tower chassis like this and hopefully it'll help you guys when you're building your systems in future. So what we'll be doing is we'll, we'll be running various different fan configurations with a high positive pressure and a high negative pressure and then a more balanced uh, equal pressure of equal intake and exhaust fans. We'll also try a couple of extreme tests where all the fans will be pulling air into the system so that's a really high positive pressure and then one where all the fans are exhaust so a really high negative pressure test and see if these really make any difference. I mean for, as far as I know at the moment we could be just absolutely wasting our time and maybe no difference. I suspect that won't be the case but I don't know let's uh, let's get on with building the system We'll get that installed into the case and then we'll run through the different fan configurations and see what effect that does have on the temperatures inside the system. So along with all these lovely Be Quiet goodies, we're going to be building the system with a B550 Aorus Master Motherboard from Gigabyte. This is the brand new platform from AMD. We'll also be using an Aorus RX 5700 XT graphics card, 16 gigabytes of Aorus RGB DDR4 memory, a Corsair 
MP600, 500 gigabyte PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive for the storage. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with the build and then we'll see just how those different airflow configurations affect the temperature inside the case.
we've got the system all built up inside the PureBase 500DX and you know what, I think that is one of the best looking systems I've built for a while. I love that stealthy all black interior and then that's highlighted with that subtle RGB lighting that works absolutely perfectly with these Be Quiet and Aorus parts. We've got the CPU set to 4.2 GHz cross all cores with a V core of 1.275 volts. We have 220 mil intakes and 220 mil exhaust fans so the case is in the balanced airflow configuration at the moment. Throughout the test we'll be running all the case fans and the CPU fan at a fixed 1200 RPM and that'll be the same throughout all the different fan configurations we're testing. The GPU fans they'll be set at 50% and then we'll load the CPU and the GPU using IDA64 for 60 minutes to see what kind of temperatures we get with these different fan configurations. To ensure we have as little airflow restriction inside the case as possible we've removed both the front dust filter and the top dust filter and then in terms of the different fan configurations we'll be using the first two will be leaning towards either negative or positive pressure so for negative pressure we'll have a single 120mm fan at the front of the case as an intake and then two 140mm exhaust one at the top and one at the rear the positive pressure setup will be the opposite of that so 240 mil intakes at the front with a single 120 mil intake at the rear and then we'll also test a balance setup which is exactly as it sounds 220 mils at the front as intake 220 mils exhausting one at the top one at the rear and then finally we'll test what kind of effect really poor fan configurations have on airflow and system temperature so we'll try one where we've got all four fans blowing into the case so high positive pressure and then an extremely high negative pressure setup where we have all 420 mil fans two at the front and two at the rear all exhausting out of the case so i'll pop the tempered glass side panel on the case and see what kind of results we get with all these different fan configurations so after approximately 12 hours of stress testing switching fan configurations letting the system cool down and then testing again we come to the conclusion that running either a balanced airflow setup or one that leads towards negative pressure or towards positive pressure they're all very good fan configurations to have inside a case such as this there's only a very slight increase or decrease in CPU, GPU and system temperature with these three different setups however the optimal setup will be leaning slightly towards positive pressure as that would help with dust entering into the system with a positive pressure setup there's less chance of dust particles being drawn into the system through gaps such as the PCIe slots or just other panel gaps around the case. The most noticeable effect on component temperature comes when a poor fan configuration is chosen, such as with all the fans set as intakes or as exhausts. Both the highest CPU and GPU temperature was recorded while all the system fans were set to intake, but even with all fans configured to exhaust, the CPU temperature is considerably higher than in a positive, negative or balanced airflow configuration. So with all this in mind, we would suggest the optimal fan configuration in a case such as the PureBase 500DX will be slightly leaning towards a positive pressure configuration. This should give the best balance between component temperature and dust levels, assuming all your intake fans are obviously filtered from dust. So I hope you enjoy watching this build video and airflow experiment inside the PureBase 500DX. If you have and if you've been enjoying the Kit Guru content, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button down there and give us a thumbs up. If you want to pick up one of these Pure Base 500DX cases, they're around about £100 in the UK now. And these Silent Wings 3 fans, they're going for about £20 each. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.